We are on the southern Oregon coast. And it's the furthest west you can go in the lower 48. Elk River is one of the cornerstones of the area. Just knockout beautiful. This piece of the southern Oregon coast is really rural, very agricultural. If you're not involved in ranching or logging, there's not a whole lot going on. The Elk River is a tremendous producer of wild salmon. The lower reaches of the elk were impacted by several causes. First and foremost, agricultural development uh, really limited the connectivity between the rivers and their floodplain. Secondly, you've had timber extraction and logging. And then the state of Oregon went through decades of removing wood from the rivers. We found out that it was taking away all of that in-stream complexity that is so important to coho rearing. So we need to get wood into these rivers. We're on a piece of ranch land down on the lower end of the Elk River. We're burying logs in the bank for a fish restoration and bank stabilization project. We got excavators creating trenches to lay logs in to redirect stream energy from carving out the edge of the bank, but also to create high water refugia for fish. Most of the work I do is on family owned forest land and ranch land and try to find ways to build fish habitat on their properties, but in a manner that ideally benefits them as well. Been working with Matt for almost five years now. There's the science aspect to it, but there's also a lot of just like rote hard labor. Matt's been at this a long time, almost 20 years. So a lot of the projects he's worked on back in the day of trees that are probably 40, 50 feet tall and have completely changed the trajectory of some of the sites that they worked on uh, starting back in the 90s. Matt has the very unique ability to work with the local landowner community, understand their needs, and he really is a matchmaker between federal funding, Wild Salmon Center, and the landowner. And that role is essential to this entire process. We move these sheep every day, pretty much all year. I'm a fourth generation sheep rancher. We own about a half mile of river right to the ocean. We had a culvert that was failing and it was flooding out the field, which was ruining some of our forage crops. And so we put in a floodplain and a bridge in instead of the culvert. We're seeing big results really quickly. The trees, they're growing very fast. They'll cover everything here and cool the creek down even more. We're seeing more wildlife. There's an egret. We have good forage growth and we have good conservation area. So it's a win-win situation. We've done seven distinct projects in this area in the last couple years. There's definitely this societal drive to restore habitat, but there's a lot of work to be done. Wild salmon really are an indicator of a healthy watershed. We really have a chance of recovering wild Oregon coast coho and that is a direct result of these federal investments in local communities. We've shown that by science-driven restoration and partnerships with the agricultural community and the timber industry, we can together return fish to health.